Now, of course, some of our team members on the business desk are over in Davos, Switzerland. Let's cross now to Goran Mbaja, who is over there um, at the World Economic Forum and is with his guest, um, Mputi Mahanyele Debangwa, who is the NASPERS chairperson. Hi, Golani. Good afternoon, and Togozo. From now, a warm World Economic Forum, a Congress Hall, where we are talking to a number of South African companies, of course, that are doing great things. This is not just the biggest tech investor in South Africa, but one of the biggest in the world, and that is Naspers. And I'm joined by the chairperson. This is Puti Mahanyele Dabengwa. Thank you very much for joining us. This is such a huge company. Uh, you are always here making sure that you make your voices heard. What do you want to achieve uh, by uh, the end of uh, this uh, World Economic Forum 2023? Hi, Kulani. It's good to be here. And I'm not the chairperson of NASPERS, please. <laughs> I'm the CEO of South Africa. Um, but but it's, it's really important for us to be here. Firstly, to support South Africa to showcase the abilities and capabilities of South Africa to all of the investors that are here. And so it's wonderful to be here with all of the companies that are here representing South Africa. But in addition to that, as a business that is operating in over 100 markets around the world, it's important for us as a global consumer internet business to be able to engage with all of the participants and a number of the businesses that we engage with in doing our business around the world. This is quite an important part, and my apologies for giving you a position that does not belong to you. There is also talk around the fourth industrial revolution, how technology is such an important game changer for the future. But when it comes to the company Naspers, also sustainability is something that is quite important in all the investments that you make. Talk to us about that and why it's important. So, you know, Kulani, I think there's a number of issues. One is, I think, with respect to sustainability, that is something that we as a business are significantly focused on because it's the manner in which we do our business. And so when you look at how we invest, one of the critical areas that we look at is sustainability. And, you know, we're also a member of the United Nations, um, you know, the SDGs. And so when you look at SDG 4, which is looking at education, that is something that is critically important to us and in fact when I look at our investment in Edutech um, you will see that it, in fact it's, it's an area that we invested significantly in just in the last financial year and today we now have a business that is uh, providing access to education materials to over 500 million users around the world and so it, it is something that is so important to us and, um, and, and you know beyond that even just looking at um, our business in South Africa, Take A Lot, our e-commerce platform that we have there, uh, Take A Lot. Um, Take A Lot has been looking at um, providing access to delivery through use, the usage of bicycles. And so now, people that don't have a driver's license can also be able to be participants and be employed and work and provide us with delivery options. And so there's a number of ways in which we are looking at sustainability, um, whether it's through our payments business, PayU, um, which is providing banking services to the unbanked um, and, and there's a number of different areas in which we are looking at sustainability it's a critical area for us and we will continue to do so Let's talk a little bit more about um, uh, Take A Lot, uh, the uh, introduction of uh, bicycles for delivery services is uh, something that uh, is uh, quite interesting, seeing that there is big uh, competition that's uh, coming on uh, to our shores. What does the research tell you in terms of uh, the kind of job creation, uh, because you've already created thousands of jobs uh, through uh, the entrepreneurs that are there who are actually employing other people. What does it tell you about uh, the projections in terms of uh, job creation? Yeah. 
So I think the projections in terms of job creation are significant. As we stand right now, we have over 8,000 SMMEs that are on our platform. Those 8,000 SMMEs are employing over 33,000 people. And so what we see going forward is more opportunities. As an example, if we introduce the biking uh, for delivery, that will create opportunities for employment significantly through Mr. D um, and, and other parts of takealot.com as well. And so opportunities for employment are critical, and that is why we are constantly focused on scaling up Take A Lot. And remember, Take A Lot is a South African business. The idea was de developed in South Africa by South Africans. And so we are very proud of this business, and we would like to see it continuing to scale and supporting more entrepreneurs and you know, providing access to jobs for more people in South Africa. Lastly, the kind of engagements uh, that uh, you've actually seen and actually been part of here. Tell us just a little bit more about those and where uh, it's taking the world because this is where uh, public, economic, uh, business leaders and civil society leaders are in, uh, that are shaping the direction of our future. Yes. Well, as, as I said, we, we are supporting South Africa. And so what we have done, in fact, together with MultiChoice, we are going to be hosting the South Africa Dinner, where we have brought um, musicians from South Africa, such as Mikasa, uh, The Soil, who are going to be performing there. Um, we've got um, great South African people that will be participating with us there. And we're very excited to showcase what South Africa has got to offer to the world. That sounds great. Thank you very much for your time. Puti Mahanyele Dabengwa is the CEO for NASPERS South Africa. Elia Ona had introduced her as a chair, but you heard it from her how it is important to actually make sure that you, the South African companies and public figures and everybody else has a chance to engage with the world in terms of what the country needs uh, to actually uh, grow our economy and not be left behind in terms of uh, global growth. Back to you, Ndogozo.